Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Okay, let's do a review for something that's a little bit different for me. I'm used to reviewing slings, fanny packs, backpacks, but I've yet to review a briefcase and some of you peasants might be interested to know that you can go to work strapped and no one would know the better. This is the Eberlin stock. Is it the Eberlin stock? Eberlin stock. <laughs> Executive brief. I'm going to read some specs for you. I've been testing this thing out for a little bit over a month. Gotten to take this thing to work twice. Now, mind you, I mostly work from home. There are times when I go to work. Me personally, when I go to work, I take everything. Everything's coming to work with me. Work computer, personal computer, all sorts of stuff. So let's just go through this real quick, man. So this is the Everland Stock Executive Brief. This thing comes in three different colors. You can get it in dark earth, which is what I have here. You can also get it in black. You can get it in gray. For the tech specs, this thing is coming in at 17.20 liters, a big bag for an executive brief. 3.6 pounds, completely empty. Bad Boy is 17.5 inches in length, 10 inches in height, 6 inches in depth before you put anything inside of it. Obviously, it expands to be even fatter than that. Fleece lined. It absolutely is fleece lined. Pockets um, on the outside and on the inside. Padded adjustable uh, slip resistant shoulder straps. Easy to grab dual webbing handles. 500D Cordura. Three separate organization areas. There's a specialized CCW pocket with a magnetic closure for your quick draw access. You get all of that for $199. Right now, they're having a 15% off site-wide sale. Don't know when it ends. Check the links in the description for the best pricing on this bad boy. As to mention, Everless Stock sent this out to me for free. I don't owe them any. They didn't pay me for it. I don't owe them any content. I just really wanted to check this thing out because I thought this might be an interesting addition because for me personally, when I go to, go to work, I actually got to put on a button down or at least put on a collar. And a lot of my bags that I have don't really fit like the, the just they don't really fit like the office environment. A lot of those bags are really much more suited for a coffee shop or, you know, travel you, whether it be like my go rucks i do have like some able carries and stuff like that this one's kind of the one that fit in the most there's it's not an unusual thing for you know i for someone that used to be in the military that wants to have a briefcase to carry something that looks like this this doesn't look out of place it fits really well we're going to talk about how i had this thing packed out and we'll talk about some some whether you should consider getting this yourself so we'll start with the cons and then we'll jump into the pros first off the cons this thing's big, bro. Okay, it is this big because it is designed to hold a 17 inch laptop. It would be nice if you guys came out with the second version that was maybe like 14 liters and it can accommodate a 15 inch laptop. However, it is what it is. You kind of know what you're getting yourself into with that. So this very, uh, there's almost a little bit too much organization for me. That may sound weird, but for a lot of my bags, backpacks, I'm kind of a give me less, let me figure it out type of guy. But if you're an organization bull, this might be for you as well. And a lot of this stuff, a lot of the features for this kind of, are, are, I kind of want a little bit more out of it. Like for instance, the actual opening for the, you know, accessing the weapon is blocked by the show, the actual if these straps are together, it's blocked by that, right? So this is where I would go to grab my weapon, but the secondary, so there's three storage locations. The secondary storage location is never blocked by the grab handle. So that, that seems a little bit ass backwards, but you know, I think that that's kind of something that you can just train yourself to do a little bit different. So, you know, maybe keep the hero clip here, kind of always keep this area clear. Then you can easily go in there, pour your weapon out, all that good stuff. But, you know, it kind of is what it is on that. Also wish it kind of had a few more mesh pockets. And although I have the, they give you the shoulder pad that, that comes with this bad boy. So it's actually very useful. I don't particularly like using the shoulder, the shoulder strap. I just prefer to just carry it on its own, but they give it to you. You don't have to buy that extra, anything like that. And this pad itself is, I mean, it's padded. It's well padded. 
very subtle logo on there. Now, another con is this side here. So this side is, is technically a pass through for a, you know, luggage or whatever. And I like the fact that you can pass through this and put it on top of a piece of luggage. But if you forget to close this up and you put so, something like this, your flashlight and something in there, like that bad boy is coming out the bottom. So don't don't forget to close up the luggage pass through. Uh, I've done that before. And then this is just a big dump area, which I kind of like sometimes hook and loop. This is just a personal thing, you know, kind of give me I would have liked to carry over some of those magnets that you put in the CCW department, kind of carry that over over here. I think that would have been pretty dope. But this area is kind of like a quick dump area. So I guess while we're over here, we'll talk about this first area. This is like a quick dump type area. I guess technically you can call this storage area number one. So you can put whatever you want in here. I generally kept this empty, but you could if you want to. Maybe you, you're taking off a light jacket or a coat. You're taking off a hat or whatever. You want to throw it inside of there. You can take that off as you walk into an office or you can put a cardigan in there if it, that you can use when you get into the office or whatever. I already mentioned the pass through for luggage. That's very, very clutch so that you can use this in, in a number of different ways. Let's talk about the, the rest of the first storage area and then we'll move on to the other side of the bag. So one thing I like about this is this zips all the way down, which allows for it to completely fold open and basically goes into like a complete opening brief state, uh, briefcase type of style. That's pretty dope. So looking at this side here, they give you a little bit of organization. This is where I say that they give you organization. And if you you kind of the type of person that likes to just choose it yourself, then this might be a little bit too, too much for you. But I'm just giving you a sample of how I had this thing decked out. If you get it yourself, maybe this may be some guidance on how you may want to do it as well. You see this pocket is about big enough for an iPad mini. I'm using it. I was using an iPad Pro to read the specs off iPad mini kind of what fits here. So an iPad mini is an eight inch tablet. So if you have something around that size, you can kind of see what you get back here with that big slip pocket. It's another slip pocket next to it. So in theory, it's about the same size. That's normally where I keep like a, uh, you know, a battery bank or whatever, so I can charge my devices on the go. Maybe right next to it, keep a nice microfiber cloth or a handkerchief so that you can wipe down your devices, wipe down your nose or whatever the case may be. And then you kind of see right in front of that, you get a bunch of slip pockets that are specifically like pin sized. So plenty of organization there. Keep yourself maybe a spork or whatever. So you're in the office, you can get, always make sure you have something to eat. Pencil, maybe a little Sharpie. And then of course, maybe you bring yourself a tactical pen so that you can defend yourself at work, right? Grab yourself a little bit of DNA. Uh, so use this for whatever you might need. And then you get a, a tie or I have next to it. This is a larger slip pocket. I kind of just have a tie pin next to that, but maybe you keep a mouse inside of that or whatever. So the flexibility is fantastic for me. I would like another version of this where this is just like maybe half organization, half loop panel, and then let me put my own organization or something like that. But this is just me speaking out loud. It's not a con. I'm just not the type of person that likes to be forced into organization. Another slip pocket in front of it. This just kind of keep a little hard drive in here that I you may want to throw some data on or whatever. Then they have this mesh pocket, which is not really the most see-through. I've already mentioned that I think in the game of see-through, VanQuest, Vertex are kind of killing the game when it comes to like being able to see through an item. And that's my experience of those two companies. Of course, your mileage may vary for other companies that you may have experienced that with. So Behind here, we'll talk about this slip pocket, but in this this one, this zipper pocket, you know, you can throw stuff in here like the pencil sharpener for that pencil I just pulled out a second ago. Uh, maybe you keep yourself some spare batteries, right? Just in case you run into that stuff at work. So all that's pretty nice as well. You see here, it's a, they have a key holder. The key holder is actually very well made. It's not plastic. It's one of the, a rare bag that I've gotten a key holder that's not made of plastic. It does swivel and it is not made of plastic. So that's a great thing. So here, just keep some keys on here or whatever. And then you can stuff those in this large slip pocket or you can just let it hang inside your bag. I mean, it is a key holder. So, and then of course you got this pocket. This pocket right here is like felt line. So if you wanna have something that needs to be a little bit softer, you can keep that back there. So that kind of works out for you as well. 
All right, so moving on to the other side. So you do have just like a big, large storage area. And this storage area back here is just one continuous space with a small closure like this. And so in here, you can keep yourself like a, maybe keep a mouse and keyboard that you may use when you get to work or whatever. Keep those in there. So once you get to work, you're all set up. So this is kind of like this whole specific area is storage area number one. And it's a uh, it's a big boy. And let's look at the actual laptop compartment. Laptop compartment is right here in the middle. And it does have premium YKK zippers, a hook and loop closure. And then even my 14 inch MacBook Pro can fit inside of the bag inside of its case. It's huge. It can accommodate a 17 inch laptop. I like the fact that I, this is a premier body armor laptop, which has level three armor in it, which can stop like a 45, you know, so a 44 magnet, it can stop some rounds, right? So with all this crap, plus the laptop, plus the, 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 the armor, I like to have that in there as well. Even next to the laptop, I can also keep my journal, which is a clutch because I know I don't necessarily use this on the fly. I don't use it on the train to work. I don't use it until I get to work. And I may use it before I go to work here in the man cave. So I don't need quick access to that because I don't, I'm not really riding on the fly. And then you just see how freaking humongous the laptop compartment is for you to put whatever you may need inside of that bad boy. So I like the laptop compartment and how big it is. It, and one thing I will say is even in storage area number one, and I have that mouse and keyboard, but sometimes if I go to work, I'll bring my personal computer and I'll bring my my work computer in this bag and handle both. No sweat, no problems whatsoever. Kind of bring it on here. This is the magnetic closure. We're move, We're about to get into storage area number two in a second, but you got the magnetic closure for your CCW compartment. And then this is where you can quickly access your boom stick or whatever. So here, J frame, Smith & Wesson, unloaded or, what, or whatnot. No safety, no hammer. So if you, because this specific storage area has no loop panel, maybe that's an improvement you guys might want to do for the future. It's highly visible, highly colored, but there's no loop panel. It's not designed really for you to put a holster. It's really for you to free ball your weapon inside of there. So one thing I would recommend is maybe you don't carry that type of weapon because that has no safety, has no hammer. It's always double actions, always ready to go. Maybe you keep like a 380. Uh, it, inside of here, keep the safety on, you, you know, you can put your hand in there, disengage the safety, pull it out, ready for action. Maybe even turn the bag at a certain angle and shoot through the bag, depending on the caliber of the weapon. I don't know, but I like the, the CCW compartment is really, really clutch. And if you don't CCW, it's a quick access pocket. You want to throw some sunglasses in there. You want to throw your cell phone in there. It's kind of hidden. Like in, unless you just know this bag, you can't really tell that that pocket exists. So I kind of rock with that quite a bit. Moving on to like this storage area, uh, the next storage area, you have this zipper pocket here, which is truly a quick access pocket. So normally I would keep like some earbuds, my Ray-Ban Metas might go in there. And so that way I can quickly grab those and slip them back in here when I'm not using them, vice versa. Also in this same area, I kind of like keeping my cell phones right here. It kind of will make more sense to put them in that zippered area, but this pocket is lined with fur. This one is not, and it doesn't really matter, right? Cell phones are normally in a case, but I could put my cell phone in there pretty easily. And when you're carrying this thing, you know, you stop or whatever, if you had the shoulder strap on, you could just let it hang on your shoulder and, and pull, this pocket op pull this pocket open and quickly access your cell phone, even while you're walking towards a bus or a train or walking down the sidewalk. It, but it can handle two cell phones pretty easily. Jumping, and then you have very subtle logo. So they have their logo there. It's not overly done. I can appreciate that as well. I appreciate the, the pool tab, the YKK zippers. And so flipping this up, you're moving into like the final storage area. And I like the fact that this is kind of, this is also using magnetic closures. I like how this is really incorporated. Now, these might be items that you want access to, but you don't need quick access to because, you know, you have to be a little bit more deliver deliberate about opening this area up. And because these aren't labeled and they're not see-through, you have to remember what you keep in, in each specific item. Now, of course, you could always get a, 
label maker. Maybe it will stick to this 500D. I don't think it really would, but you could give it a shot. But this is a more of a deliberate area. This is more of a like, I use this bag every day. I've muscle memory trained myself on what I have in each specific area. But you see you have five different areas where you can keep stuff in here. So here I keep business cards because I do YouTube. So sometimes I film in certain environments. I usually would try to just hand the manager that's on duty a business card. I have a small blanket by Matador. This is a travel blanket that can sit one to two people, really one person. And in downtown Dallas, when I go to work, you know, there is a nice place called Clyde Warren Park. You can go there, lay this out, sit down, eat your lunch. So you, now Clyde Warren Park is turf, but still it's nice to sit on a blanket instead of sit directly on the turf. And if there's no seating, because it happens a lot at that park, it's nice to just have your own. In here, I do keep the Leatherman Wingman. Now, I never really could find a home for the Leatherman Wingman. This bag works out perfect for it. At work, I don't need anything more than a slotted screwdriver, anything more than a knife. Normally, depending on what I'm wearing, there's a knife on my body. So this is just a little bit of extra. Tighten something up in the cubicle, tighten something up. You Maybe the, the actual, the monitor arm or something like that needs some tightening, pair of pliers. We're good to go. Plenty of room in there if you wanted to put something else in there, though. Maybe you want to put some a Swiss Army knife or you want to put a small toolkit that will fit in there with no issues whatsoever. One thing that I like is that the zippers are on opposite sides. So if you're absent-mindedly opening this bag, you won't reflexively open this bag, this pouch because it's complete, uh, it's completely the other side. So I like that. Open this up. And you can see I have a small med kit with a, just a couple of hygiene items, you know, a little bit of floss, some sting bites, some triple antibiotic, a toothpick, an old school toothpick, just a med, just like office type med kit, some sting spray, just things that I think about like, did I heat up my food? Oh, my lunch was delicious. Now I got some shit stuck in my teeth all day. I don't like that. Okay. This is the type of stuff I think about at work. A little bit of salt and pepper in there just in case I eat some real trash crap at work. I can make it that thing taste a little bit better. Up here at the top, this is where I keep the cords. Now, I showed you the middle area where I had the, the battery bank. So this is the USB type C cable, super long so that, you know, I can access any plug wherever and I can still plug it up. This is the charger for my actual 14 inch MacBook Pro. Those kind of live up here. And then there's plenty of room if I need additional cordage. Say for instance, that day, I know maybe I wanna charge multiple devices at once, or maybe I'm bringing my work computers, um, you know, charger, which is a big brick of a charger. I have uh, extra areas to bring stuff with me as well. Then you have this mesh area as well, which you not not really see through. It's, it's see through enough to see if there's anything in there, but not really see through at all. I do keep this new. This is the old tactical fidget compass that they just released on Kickstarter. And it's nice to have some type of emergency. I want to be able to just know basically north, south, east and west where I work. There's tall buildings might not be able to spot the sun very easily, maybe disoriented. So the compass may not work that great in that area, but it's good to know. Maybe I can find my way out of a specific area. Then the actual lanyard to tie it around my neck, if it does come to that, to you know, in a Silcock key to be able to refill water from buildings that may be on the way and um, as we go through. So this thing here, as you may notice, I showed you the Silcock key. Where's the water bottle? That's kind of something that I did notice. You know, if you do want to carry a water bottle, you really are kind of left just slipping it in this large area that I mentioned earlier. You might want to stick a cardigan in or whatever. But what I've kind of gotten used to doing is this thing can accommodate a water bottle. Maybe not this big of a water bottle, but if I had my, this is a big 40 ounce water bottle. But normally if I have my 16 inch water bottle, I can normally fit it next to my laptop. Now this is not the one I normally carry with me. But just to show you, it can even swallow up a big 40 ounce water bottle if you wanted to carry that in here as well. So from what I know about executive type briefs, this feels like an executive brief, the materials, the CCW compartment, the actual warranty that they offer on their website. And oftentimes you can get this thing 10 to 15% off. This bag, comparing it to nothing else. I have no comparables. I've never owned a briefcase that had a CCW compartment. I've never owned a briefcase with this much storage that didn't make me feel like I wanted to throw up. $200 doesn't feel like a lot for this bag. It just doesn't. The materials, the zippers, 
you know, I had no issues walking with this. It doesn't have aqua guard zippers, but it gave me enough resistance where I felt I was okay with walking around with this thing, no matter what was going on. So it just doesn't feel like it's too much for me. The small little gripes and complaints, you know, the the luggage pass through and a little bit too much storage, you easily forget about those. And the fact that this can swallow up your 17 17.3 17 inch gaming laptop with no problems whatsoever makes this feel like even more of a beast. Comment down below, what are some comparables? What is cheaper? That's a CCW, has all of this, made of these high quality materials, has a great warranty, and also is just well built and has a lot of organization. Give me a comparables. Let me know if the pricing, if, I, if I'm right about this pricing, depending on its, on its own, that's something I want to know as well. Something you're thinking about picking up, I would love to know that as well. First time stopping by, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, well, thank you once again for watching me run my grape. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.